Hey guys, it's Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring, and I'm gonna talk about the hard criteria to take somebody to surgery in terms of the vascular system. So if somebody presents with a pulsatile bleeding source, that's a hard sign. Another thing is a new onset thrill or a brewy after a trauma of some sort, that's another hard sign. If the patient has an expanding hematoma, that's the third hard sign. If somebody has signs of distal ischemia, meaning that one of their limbs is cool and they don't have pulses and they have extreme uh, severe onset pain, that's gonna be another hard sign. So distal perfusion defects. And all these things don't matter. If the patient has a normal blood pressure, you still immediately want to intervene. And so the normal blood pressure does not skew your treatment workup because I remember missing a question once because the patient had a normal blood pressure but they had a pulsatile arterial bleeding. You still gotta fix that immediately. And it sounds kind of silly now that I'm thinking back on it, but don't let the normal blood pressure throw you off because that can be used as a distractor in somebody with an early onset bleed. And so know the hard signs, know an expanding hematoma, know a uh, pulseless extremity, know uh, pulsatile bleeding or the presence of a uh, brewy or thrill. Those things are gonna cause you to immediately intervene and this patient may need a prompt surgical consult for uh, taking that patient to the operating room. I hope that helps and don't be fooled by the normal blood pressure like I was.